this pink dress, you could be wearing like loads of different things under it. You could contrast and have a green. Yeah, if you wanted to, that could be really nice. Green and pink are always really nice because it's like red and green. They're like opposites on the colour wheel. So they look really good together. So you could have like the green underneath that one. It's a bit thinner though, so you might even want another cardigan. You can have this. Quite useful. So that's just sitting on the area here that you want to highlight. And you can take that knitwear. That's got this helps a bit popping up here. The idea is to tuck the jumper underneath the belt. Mm -hmm. So it just kind of holds the jumper up. Right. Just another thing other than the elastic band that can help just kind of keep it in place. Hi, thanks Hello. for coming again. <laughs> thanks for having me again. Yeah, so this time I've got a lot more winter items mm -hmm. in my wardrobe. Um, again, a lot of troublesome items that I never know how to style, like quite long ones. Mm -hmm. Ones that are very knitted that mean I have like not much shape to me. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go through those today. <laughs> yeah, I have um, a clothes rack <laughs> this time around, so which looks amazing. Thank you. I do. I feel like I'm in this like wonderland of like dress <laughs> up. It's great. Um, I thought maybe we can put the items we're discussing on there so everyone can see them really clearly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know where to start though. And so let's pull out some of those ones that you're struggling with. Right. Um, so especially for winter, this is one of the first ones definitely. Mm -hmm. Just because it's actually quite see-through. It's really knitted, but yeah. you can see my bra when I wear it. Because it's quite a thick knit. Yeah. Do you ever put anything underneath this? So usually just a black bra, but because of that, it makes it not very really, like work appropriate, mm -hmm. um, which is very annoying. And if I have a heat tech or something under it, it's too hot. <laughs> okay, so we need to find a kind of middle ground with this. Yeah. Okay. Um, so should we start with this one then? Yeah. So on the top sides, you want something not too hot and not too cold, right? Yeah. Mm. I think as well, maybe something lighter in the shade would be good. Do you think this would still be too warm? Um, this one's quite thin actually, so it could be okay. And the blue and the yellow are going really nicely together as well. Oh. So underneath you just get a light colour. Right. So that could be a good way of doing it. I never would have thought of that. <laughs> I'm so impressed already. <laughs> hey. To see what it looks like on as well. I think it's good to try it on just to see am I too warm, am I too cold and get that kind of feeling. Right. So you can try this combination as well. I think what we want to be looking for is a light coloured top. This could work. Oh, it's one of my new ones, yeah. Oh, this colour is so lovely on your skin. Thank you, yeah. I got it after our thing, so mm. I'm focused on finding all these like lighter colours. Oh, yeah, this is quite thick though, so I think underneath that you'd be a bit too warm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it does have quite a thickness to it. Hmm. So I think I'm kind of in between. How thick is this one for you? Quite thin actually, yeah, it's really breathable. So this would be a good option. I'm just kind of pulling out lighter fabric and lighter colours. Like, as a three, these look quite nice together. It's really cute, yeah. It's the green and yellow are quite similar. So like underneath that yeah. could be quite nice. Oh, that'd be really nice, yeah. Do you have any short sleeve undertops that could go underneath um, this one? I should do. I think less of them are in here because for winter, yeah. but like, I do have like more short ones like this or... They're mainly black though. Because I think since I've done the colour console, it's been winter mainly after yeah. that. And there haven't been much short stuff around to wear. Yeah, this one's basically the same, like, short and black. Mm. Even the 
nice one. I know it's got some writing on it, but it's going to be underneath. Mm. And it's still a lighter colour. So this could be good and it's got short sleeves. But underneath, I don't think you'd really even see the writing. So that could be a good yeah, option that's as true. well. Yeah. And um, less hot as well, because it's yeah. quite short. Do you have, like, I'm sure it's, it's probably not in this wardrobe, but like any vests? Um, I don't think so. I only have things like this, which is more of like an over the top one. Um, yeah, I don't own any vests anymore. I used to when I was younger. That might be something for the shopping list. Yeah, I never realised that. Yeah, I used to always wear it under school uniform and stuff. Yeah. But then after that, I just thought I didn't need them anymore. And you can get like heat tech vests as well and things like that. Mm. That could be a good shout. Like sort of white and nude under tops. So this kind of thing could be really useful. Short sleeve or long right. sleeve. It doesn't need to have a high neck either. It could be like a scoop neck. Right. They're quite useful pieces. Yeah, definitely under something like that. That's exactly, I guess, what I would need. So that's for the shopping list. Da yeah, we've already got one. <laughs> <laughs> um, how about as well putting it over the top of a dress? Ooh. Have you tried that before? Never, no. I have a lot of dresses. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we looked at your dresses the last time. I don't think so, because I think with dresses, mm -hmm. I don't ever find them as troublesome, because I kind of just wear one thing and then you're done. Yeah. So, oh, I love this one. <laughs> I mean, purple is definitely your colour. <laughs> so what could be an interesting thing as well? These strappy dresses are really useful because it is like having a vest. Right. So what we'll do... <laughs> yeah, there's no like, real order to things. I wouldn't worry. This has got a bit of the yellow in it as well. So if you had this underneath this, it would go really well. Oh, that's so cute. Well, even over the top, actually. That's yeah. kind of 90s vibe that you like. This could yeah. be quite a cute comp. So you could try it under or over. And then you've covered up the area that you want to cover Yeah, that's exactly the bit I need to cover as well. Yeah, not too hot as well. So under or over, we can try that combo as well. Yeah. Or even if you want, you could just go like this. actually a really useful airing top you've got here. Oh yeah. And I don't think there's anything wrong with having a bit of lettering. Mm. Have you done this combo before? No, I always just wear this one as this. Like, I guess. I haven't really experimented with it at all. So you could like go that and then pop that over or like pop a cardigan over. Oh yeah, that's the one we got last time. <laughs> So great, this colour for you. <laughs> yeah, I'd be wearing it a lot. <laughs> Have you worn these two together? No. Nope. <laughs> I don't think I experiment as much as I could. <laughs> Sometimes it's helpful on a wardrobe edit because it gives you sort of like the freedom to play around and make some combos. That's really cool. That's really cute. That was some boots or something. Yeah. Or even, like, I'm just looking at the rail and, like, the blue goes really well with this dress. It does. So you could have, like, blue and this, and then you could have... Is this a cardigan here? Yeah. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> just some really nice, like, combos that you can do. But, like, strappy dresses like this work really hard, like, all season. Like, winter you could be wearing it. Oh, sure. I love that with the blue. I it's never would have missed that. If you look at like the patterns that are in the dress, there's a little bit blue, there's yellow, there's white, and you think, what have I got? And there's colours that I can pick out. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so cute as well. Yeah, I think you'd look really cute. Oh, I love that. Because you look so good in yellow. Oh, thank you. And then this will show off your nice waist. Oh, definitely. <sighs> Sorry, we've deviated from the jumper a little bit, but it's given a few kind of. That's given loads of good well. ideas. Let's see if we can add another dress into the mix as well, so we can get you wearing this with more.
Um, hmm. So what you're looking for is a dress without a collar because this has got the collar. Right. Do you wear this one much? In summer I wear it so much, yeah. But not in the winter? No, not in the winter at all. It's a really great idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see it does have a bit of a collar, so it probably wouldn't work with that one. Okay. But what I can do is show you how to take it into the winter. Yeah, I've never I've never worn it in winter. It's too cold. <laughs> These ones are great because it's long, it'll cover up lots of your legs. Right. You still have your tight underneath it, but then you could have something that you can, you can pop this out over something. Ooh. So in the print, you've got bits of purple here and bits of yellow. Yeah. Which you know you have. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to make it work with these new pieces. It's exciting, isn't it? There's so much more colour now. So this could be a really cute combo. But you get quite cold, right? Yeah. So you're thinking, hmm, is this going to be enough? So you could even have this underneath it. Oh, okay. I like to put like these underneath my dresses. Oh, yeah, I do, I do. So this is a heat tech, so it's keeping me really warm. Oh. You put this underneath. It just gives you that extra layer of warmth. And then you'll probably find you'll be taking off the cardigan because you'll be so warm. <laughs> right. And then you still get to wear a dress in the winter. Mm. I always just leave them in there because it's like I always switch the short sleeve tops and the long ones, but the dresses I just kind of leave in case I still have like a dinner party or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then I just get, like, face the cold. <laughs> okay, but this is going to be my goal today, to show you how you can wear them and be warm. Yeah, that's exciting. <laughs> I, didn't, I don't think I even went near the dresses last time as well, because, yeah, they're not really troublesome in summer. But I just need to find a way to make them work for you in the winter. And now you know it's possible to put things underneath them as well. Yeah. Hopefully they can all get some more love. Just pop this little green out, and you've just got a neck. A neck. It's really intentional. Like it looks like it's kind of like part of it. Like if yeah. you didn't know, you'd be like, oh, it's just the dress. Yeah. And it goes with like the kind of like the leaves here. Then you've got that, and then you could have either of those two cardigans on top. Yeah. And they're all like in the same color family as well. Your colors, so they all go together. It's really like feminine as well. It is. I love it. And you just pop the cardigan over the top. It's really cute. Oh, and then should... hopefully you'll still be warm. Yeah, should I try it on? Yeah. Yeah. There's like, yeah, there's loads of things that you can try. Yeah, I'm excited. I keep... It's so cool how you can actually make the outfit like pre-made on the rack yeah. like this. It's really fun. <laughs> oh, which one? Yeah, Should I check like this one? Yeah, is that the one you're excited by? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything else you can try as well.
but I bring the jacket in on my arms so I can try it without. These colours look so good on you. Oh, I'm so happy. I love this dress. Yeah. I wear it so much in summer. Now you're going to wear it so much in the winter. It's really warm with this one, yeah. Yeah. I think this would make a really nice work look as well. Mmm, and it's got lots of colour to it. Mm hmm. You're right, very feminine. Yeah. <laughs> So nice. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to do twelve. <laughs> and do you feel like as well your legs are kind of warm because it's like a long. Yeah, yeah, and I always have these like thermal tights on anyway, so I wear a lot of similar like, skirts anyway in winter. Mm -hmm. So it's actually yeah nice how much leg is being covered. I love long stuff like this. <laughs> it's quite like. Cottage core. Like, yeah, I I think, yeah <laughs> as well. Like it is kind of like the dresses I was looking at to buy for our cottage core like mood yeah. board. What's so. really nice as well is it like cuts you in the waist kind of perfectly, so it shows your shape really nice. And the cardigan mm. similarly, it's like not too oversized. Right. Yeah. So you just like did up some of the buttons on the cardigan as well. It, like really shows off the waist. It's like one or two. Yeah, that, yeah, that's perfect. And it's just like proper in at the waist. Oh, you know what else it could do? Oh, if you're like really wanting to show off the waist. Mm. I think that's too much. <laughs> the colour's quite similar though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. We don't want to look too kind of like matched matched. So this kind of goes with like your vibe. Mm -hmm. How does this one look? I don't know. I think it came on a skirt. Oh, it's probably a lower skirt. Yeah. It's probably not ready to be high waisted. Yeah. But, we but something similar could work, yeah. Hmm. Nope, there's no hacks. Like, <laughs> never a hack for this. I don't really understand it. I think it came with this skirt, maybe? Uh, like joined in on the top and I actually didn't wear it because of it because it was such a confusing belt. It is a little bit. Yeah. And you can see that like it looks quite nice together as well. Like the colour wise, yeah. Yeah. Oh that's a shame. The brown belt would have been quite good. I can we add it to the list? Brown <laughs> yes. belt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think the the blue on there is too similar to the dress. That might be one for the list, I think. This is so comfortable. Yeah? Yeah. Because the green is already my current like favourite thing because yeah. it's comfy. So wearing it underneath something that, like this is comfy anyway, but mm -hmm. actually probably wearing it under other things will make me like them more because it's so comfortable. Yeah. yeah. And like, for instance, you could have this pink one underneath because there's pink in the flowers. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit thicker than the green one, so yeah. you probably wouldn't need the cardigan over the top. You could just have this and be done. Yeah. So that's another option as well. Definitely. Should we take a picture so you can okay. see? Okay. You look so good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hopefully this is like opening you up to like all the possibilities that like the dresses could have. Yeah, I think the layering is really helpful to have you help me with. Something that doesn't, I don't always intuitively think to do. Yeah. And you've got such lovely coloured cardigans at the moment as well. Yeah. <laughs> like this one could easily go over the top as yeah. well. This lovely pink you have here. This is gorgeous. 
Yeah, that's another reason for my <laughs> colours. Can you try that one if you want? Yeah. You're getting this really lovely, like, versatile wardrobe where everything kind of goes with each other and there's not too many wrong answers. Oh, uh, yeah. I think last time it was much darker, I think, looking at the mm -hmm. wardrobe altogether. Now, because there's much more light colours, there's, like, way more possibilities. Oh, I love this. Um, do you, you know what? Done up, it looks like a jumper over a skirt. Oh, which is really nice. It does again have that like cottagey, cottage core feel. Yeah, the colour is just so vibrant and lovely. Yeah. You look like really colourful and like fresh and healthy. Which is I'm really actually nice. so happy because this one, mm -hmm. um, gosh, I tried to wear it with something recently yeah. and it wasn't working. Uh -huh. And I bought it for the colour mainly and I didn't really think about the styling. I think because it, it's quite, like it doesn't really like... It's quite like squarish. I don't know if that's mm -hmm. right. But actually, with a long skirt like this, it I think this is the right combination to wear it with. I think so too. I like it all done up for you as well, because mm. then you've got that kind of jumper effect. Yeah. You could just like play around with the buttoning like this, and then that just gives you a little bit of like shape and definition. Mm -hmm. And then also play with belting over the top. Yeah. If a brown one were to work, that could be <laughs> helpful. Um, but also, say you weren't wearing a blue dress, you could have the blue belt tied. Right. Over. So I think what we maybe should add to your wish, wish list is like a good over belt. Could right. be like um, this kind of colour would be really lovely. This light colour that you have here, it's in your buttons a little bit. Some browns, maybe like another colour. Looking. Yeah, I think it's useful to have some like different colours just to like play around with. Um, but you can also just play with how you button it as well. Um, so just so you can see what it does look like unbuttoned. Yeah, it does look really lovely on buttons, and then you can see the waist here, which is really nice. It looks like really fresh. <laughs> oh, I'm glad. This is so lovely. It's like my favourite original dress that I always wore with like my new, new colours. So I'm glad they go as well. Together they look really lovely. Yeah, because I focus on buying so many new colours that mm -hmm. match me. Mm -hmm. I guess there is this tendency to be like, oh, my old stuff no longer like it's like usable. But that's not true at all. Like it matches so well. That's really so. good. Yeah, because the colour can match my face from here, so... Definitely. How about, let's try something a bit strange. Ooh. What if you put the jumper on backwards? Okay. <laughs> because it's got that, like, quite high neck on the front and the back, what you could be getting is a jumper effect. If it doesn't work, then, you know, we played and we've had a bit of fun. Because you do get those jumpers with buttons on the back, right? Oh, I might need your help on the back. <laughs> yeah, it might be in the future, like... <laughs> Doesn't even have to be all of them. It could just be, like, a couple. So just do, like, three of them. Oh, it looks nice on the back. It's really comfy. And then what you can do, because you can see that it's got, like, a tie neck. So you might as well just bring the tie neck out. Mm -hmm. Then what you've done is like given like a bit of fun to the jumper, it's like wearing a necklace almost. Yeah. So I think the jumper would be quite nice like up here on your waist, right? What we can do... Do you have a hair tie? Do you somewhere? Um... <laughs> bit weird but I do this with knitwear quite a bit. Kind of like just kind of give it a little tie like this. Yeah, that looks nice. And that doesn't feel uncomfortable like that? No, not at all. And it then it really looks like it. really casual as well. Just like kind of like huh. you can <laughs> see your waist there. Yeah, it's just like not too try hard as well. I was like, oh, it's just 
drape the little bit off the side. I think the bows are such a cute thing. I never know yeah. what to call them though. Like, a, it's called a pussy bow. Oh, I'm not sure okay. Why, though. Yeah. I have to look that up. I've always had like a slight <laughs> obsession with them. Like, I don't know if you can see a lot of my dresses. I was not to them. <laughs> <laughs> like, I really like them, but whenever I try to like. Mm buy them online, I'd just be like, dress with bow, and it would always be the wrong kind of bow. Search for a pussy bow and you'll yeah. find them. But like, yeah, all of these colours you have go with each other so they well. Do. So, so many of these outfits like are definitely doable, yeah. and you don't have to have it like done up like a bow. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people just have them like, just like, be free. <laughs> free the bow. Or you can do them like, to the side. Similar to like with the cardigan, it doesn't have to be one way. And it's quite nice because when you're like repeating looks, sometimes you can make them look a bit different by like where you've tied them. So move the bow to the side, and then maybe we have the jumper at the front. Sometimes I do it at the back, mm -hmm. but that's with like jumper jumpers because it's yeah. a cardigan. It's a bit cool. harder in the south, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> But if you ever want to like crop a knit without having to like sew, this kind of looks like it's been tucked in. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, oh, that's not a waste. Yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah. It's very comfy too. <laughs> that's good. It looks like a warm knit as well. Yeah, nice. <laughs> I'll take some pictures for you as well. I'll take one of your back as well. Oh, yeah. You probably can't see this part. So, that's what it looks like on the back. Oh, it looks like you've just got a really nice detail. Yeah. Oh, I like yeah. it to the side. It's really cute. Yeah. <laughs> it's like quite worky as well. Like it looks mm. quite smart to have that. Yeah. So this cardigan's got loads of versatility. It's yeah. Like Oh god, god. it's fun being able to use the new new things I bought. Yeah, there's loads of other combinations we can try as well. Um, this one's really similar as well. So you've got, yeah, it's quite a similar dress, but you've got a shorter sleeve with this one, mm -hmm. which means you can also have a little bit of fun. On our last wardrobe edit, we were, I think you had this pink dress. Yes. Uh, and you were struggling with it showing too much skin. So we put, um, so we put something with a long sleeve underneath it. Actually, this would work together. Oh yeah, I did think. have this at the time. Yeah. yeah, that worked really well. So we oh, I love put that. this underneath. <laughs> I tried it on actually. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. Like, I didn't have that top last time and it worked so well. This would be really good because then you're all one colour. Yeah. Oh, I never realised that those two would go together. should probably bring these back each time. Yeah. Yeah.
I need to do this up actually. How is it for you? It's so comfortable. Yeah. Like, I, oh, I don't have to worry at all about this bit because yeah. they can be as deep down, like as, what do you call it, as low as it wants to be without me worrying because it does feel like the same colour almost. Like, yeah. I actually think I prefer it to last time's combination a bit more because it's like very pink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. And like, especially when you wear kind of all similar shades, it like makes you look quite like long and tall. Yeah. Like when you were wearing that all green look in the last yes. video. Yes, yeah. I love that one. I always wear that. Yeah. Is that belt come out a lot? Oh, uh, this one? Yeah. Um, um, stuck in there. Oh yeah, it does. It's got like a little thin thing here that keeps on. Oh, perfect. So you're definitely not tied 100% with the belts that come with skirts and dresses. Mm. And then putting in something kind of unexpected makes it really fun. And then if you pop this in here, and it's got like this kind of print which goes as well, it goes with the black in your tights, it goes with mm. the pink. And it's because it's a bit different from the pink on pink, it's like saying, here's my way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And it just makes it really fun. Oh, yeah. Do you wear this belt much? I don't. I don't actually know what it's from. I don't think I've ever worn it. I have no idea what it came with. Not too tight. No, no, not at all. Yeah, it's really nice um, that it's thick as well. Because it's going right over kind of the stitching. Oh, I love that. <laughs> How do you feel? I like it. It's nice when it's quite tight here. Like, well, tighter. Yeah. It's, it's quite tucked in. Yeah. Quite yeah. Comfortable. I think, like, when your wardrobe, like, the accessories and everything you own all matches each other, everything looks like it's, like, come with each other, but it hasn't. You just, like, got a really cohesive, like, yeah. style. Yeah, because it does look like these could have been sold together, but they just mix and match so well. Thank you. <laughs> so like with this pink dress you could be wearing like loads of different things under it. You could contrast and have a green. Yeah. If you wanted to. That could be really nice. Green and pink are always really nice because it's like red and green. They're like opposites on the colour wheel. So they look really good together. So you could have green underneath that one. It's a bit thinner though so you might even want another cardigan. You could have the blue underneath it. Yeah. You can really have some fun with it. Um, but yeah, I was thinking of this one because with this you've got a short sleeve and you're like how can I wear a short sleeve right in the winter? So you could just pop a cardigan over the top. Oh, this goes so well. The two blues look quite nice together. Yeah. Again, yeah. it looks like they could have come together. Like, like a little set. Yeah. Or what you could do is have this pink poking out like you have with this one. Yeah. That could be fun to try on. Yeah. Yeah, so I could just keep this one out and put it on the top. Yeah. Yeah. Everything just goes like with each other so nicely. Like you could easily have this and this. Yeah, all of it goes so like the floral colours. Yeah. Like this, you can see the beige underneath. It looks really lovely. Mm, it does. That one I have worn. It was quite a bit before. Yeah. Yeah. Have you tried any of? I have it before. So <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to try this one. Up. <laughs> <laughs> I love this dress.
so cute. Yeah, I really like this. It's so pink. Yeah, definitely. I think this is quite thick, so... Yeah. So you don't need, like, a cardigan or anything? Um, I feel like I'd still happily wear one, because I get cold so easily, so... The blue would be good, the pink would be good, the beiges, the yellows, yeah, everything, blue. like, goes. You see, you put this on on the hanger, I was like, it looked so cute. <laughs> yeah, I love this. And as well, without the cardigan, you've got this lovely frilly sleeve that's still on show. Yeah, you can still see it. I like this though. I really, really like this. This is very cute. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm having so much cottage cross stuff so. Yeah. <laughs> Unintentionally. Naturally, you just kind of had that vibe. Mm. And you could belt it with this belt from the mm. other dress. Yeah. Because they can all into like, intermingle. Just like, put it on the top if you fancy the belt on the head. Cute. Just put it off. It really is like a ballerina style colour. Yeah, actually. So you've already got this here. So I'd say maybe a belt with like a buckle would be nice or I'd stick a lot of those. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but what you could do is just like... Just if you're in a mood where you're like, yeah, I want to show off my waist today. Mm. All your colours together are just like perfect. I hope this is like helping like give these dresses some winter life. It really is. Like I never really thought of wearing them in winter. They're just always there. So I'm glad. I hope they get more wet. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they all go with your knitwear so yeah. perfectly. Lovely and warm as well when you've got these quite thick jackets on. Yeah. I pulled out some more things as well that could all work because I was still thinking about this one as well. So like a bit like how you've got your pink and pink. Mm -hmm. You could go oh, wow. yellow and yellow. Oh, that's so good because the top of this dress I don't love. Okay. But I love the, the, the print, mm -hmm. but I don't like this belt that much. I see. So that, that's perfect. Cause, so yeah, mm -hmm. this is like another item that I like struggle to wear. So wow, yeah. Perfect. So if we keep this as well as the trouble item. Mm. So I think, so this is, a, is what you don't like. Yeah, I just how don't do like how it looks like coming in there. So I think this dress can now become an underdress. Mm -hmm. If you don't like it. Never thought of doing that. So if we look at like what knitwear is kind of chunky enough that it could go over the top. So I think this one could go over the top as well. Yeah. So these pieces like, oh it's a shame you still love the bottom. I so just like, love the print, it's so cute. Yeah. But yeah, if you wear it in summer, you can't really put things over it because it's too hot, but I never thought of using it as a winter dress. It's nice and thick. Oh, ooh. And then it goes, and it's got that really lovely cottagey vibe. Oh. I feel like this is having out as a cottage core video before our actual cottage core video. <laughs> <laughs> a free cottage core from your existing wardrobe video. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love this. Yeah, this is so cute. Yeah. 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 I guess like there is always like a trend that you'll unintentionally be aligned with. Yeah. And I guess mine is always cottage core. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cute. It's yeah. like a little contrast. Really contrast. Yeah. Wouldn't expect it, but it's nice. I love this blue. It's so pretty. Oh, it's gorgeous. I mean, it goes with your eyes as well. Like, just perfectly. But it's like nice and thick, so it could take, like, easily it could pop over that. Yeah. I mean, I can, I can try it on quickly over this, actually. It's quite easy. It's 
I think the element of like the I think the florals of the cottage core is kind of you and the kind mm. of girliness of it. But you're like a more pastel cottage core. Pastel, yeah. Like princessy as well, I think. Yeah. So this one I think is what you were saying you were struggling with. It's a bit long. I think mm. it's hiding your body a little bit. Yeah. So what we could do, we could get any belt for this. So we get like a belt belt. And the trick here is it's a belt that no one is going to see. So it doesn't oh, matter okay. that it's black. Does this go on your waist? Yes, yeah. Yeah, so if you put this underneath, just in the dress here. So cute. Mm. If maybe you just cover my old belly. <laughs> I forgot you even had this. It's quite useful. So that's just sitting on the area here that you want to highlight. And you can take that and look at Here was to tuck the jumper underneath the belt. Mm -hmm. So it just kind of holds the jumper up. Right. Just another thing other than the elastic band that can help just kind of keep it in place. But it's a lot of fabric and the belt just kind of goes like that. Mm -hmm. That, but it just shows like, where the waist is and it keeps it yeah, as well. So if you true. really get the jumper underneath the belt, it just keeps it in place. And the belt doesn't get seen. Yeah. It's just kind of hidden. Mm, I like it. And you know what as well? Because you're like, oh, this is wanting to be free. <laughs> you just like pop that over the top. Oh, and I've got a bow. I love bow. Yeah. Oh, it's so cute. I was just thinking, hmm, it needs something, <laughs> like a necklace. Oh, perfect. <laughs> and that can kind of help. Or like before with the elastic bands, you can like elastic it here. Yeah, that's a quick and easy as well. Stick it in the back. Sometimes <laughs> I just do it behind me. <laughs> that will do. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a good hack I picked up from this, the elastic band too. Yeah. As well as the belt, yeah. And it, like, it could be an elastic band, it could easily be a scrunchie as well, because right. it's like a lot of fabric. Mm -hmm. So like either you can do the tuck it into the belt thing, or mm -hmm. you can try just like tying it. So the problem with this belt is it's kind of curling it right. off a little bit, which is a shame. But you can do this trick with any belt. Right. So if you just find a belt that sits perfectly on your waist, no issues, then easily you can tuck the jumper into it. Or we can do something kind of rather intentional. Might be a little too bony. Let's try bowing up at the back. Because you like cute details. <laughs> <laughs> I love that hair back, it's very cute. So cute. Might be something you have to have someone do for you. <laughs> Definitely, yeah, to get it in the right place. <laughs> Sometimes I do this like in front of a, a mirror. This can help. Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> and it goes as well with the yellow. <laughs> then at the front, just kind of arrange it however you want to arrange it. Really oh, yeah, can you can go much shorter than that one. Yeah, and it just sits perfectly on your waist. You could do a bit of this and just. Give some kind of like fun, oh, just casual or whatever. Or just like put it really neatly. Maybe that's not too uncomfortable having no, that. No, it's not uncomfortable at all. Just really casual. We can even show this bit at the bottom here. And you can make it sit wherever you want it to sit, basically. Hmm. <laughs> I love it. The colours together are really nice. Right. 
they're really bright blue, like brings out all the colours in this one as well. Yeah. And it's got that kind of like, it's almost a skirt, but it's not a skirt. You could have it sit lower if you like. Just kind of mould it. And if you get like a belt that you want to show off as well, you could have it in the middle, like a, a buckled one and then it's not too many bows. Yeah. yeah. pink or a nude or something. And you could just belt a jumper. Yeah. Just straight up and show it off. But this looks really nice. I really like this. It's made it so short and like neat. And then you've got that cute detail on the back. <laughs> I'll tear out for a back one too. <laughs> yeah. So this is what your back looks like right now. Oh, it's so cute! <laughs> it's so like, cute. I love that. <laughs> oh, this is really cute. So cute. And it's like, I feel like the bow on the front is smart enough for work. Mm, definitely. Like edge. Mm. It's a bit hot though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. These are like, these are my like when it's really cold outfits. Yeah, I mean, if we went outside today, I think it would be great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you could as well do yeah. the jump rope. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you've got that in the back. <laughs> I realise I'm trapped. Oh, no. <laughs> so this is a bit hot because it's quite a thick knit, right? Mm. And you've got a knit on the underneath. Yeah. You could lose one of them. Yeah, I think the pink one I wouldn't need if I'm in a style. But if I was outdoors yeah. all day or something, it'd be great. It's really warm. So you could just have that, or you could just have the the jumper over the dress. It just gives you loads of options, and then that dress can get loads of like wears in different kind of ways. Yeah. Been shying away from that first yellow I know. Jumper, but we are going to get that. Well, I might just show it without, yeah. so you can see like what it looks like without it on. Oh, I think it's lovely. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. You know what could help as well? It could just be another belt thing. Have you oh. ever belted it? No. Because that would just cut, because maybe you're thinking this is too much. You'd actually rather that end up here, right? Mm, yeah. Because this is lovely. Oh, this is a crazy belt, I guess. <laughs> but just to show you what it could look like, just like a little contrast. You just need to cut it almost visually. Yeah. It might just be that. It might just be that it needed a bang belt. Like the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's put this one on. Oh, yeah, these two are perfect. Oh, I love this. I really like this. I'm so happy I can oh, yes. I should probably do that off there. Another bow. That is such a win. Like just helping like get those items that you're like, oh no, I just can't wear it at all. Yeah, I'm so happy because I love this pattern so yeah. much. Like yellow. Oh that's like yeah, it's just covered it up perfectly. And yeah. what's like lovely is it's a crop. 
Mm. So it's just like at the perfect bit. On you perfectly. Oh, Don't I love put that. any hair ties in it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the colours. I love it. Okay, this is my favourite one. Just like all. I wonder what like our next accessory. Yeah, I've got quite a lot of like hair stuff and headbands and everything. Hmm. A green. Yeah. Green and yellow together. I mean, this outfit feels quite cottage core to me. It does. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this! <gasps> oh wow! And then this nice little daisy, because it's got the yellow in it. So yeah! Just like... Oh, this is my favourite so far. Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy. What's this one? <laughs> yeah, somehow we've ended up with a winter cottage core video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess my wardrobe is just very, like, all my dresses are very cottage core y. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I love this outfit so much. Even with the headband as well, it's so comfy. It's good. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. It's perfect. <laughs> it lives. <laughs> this one does make me feel like a princess. It's very princessy. <laughs> and I think it can take more jumpers. Okay. Because I'm like, this is good, but I think we can keep going. I think that the jumper jumper could get on that. Is that like... Switch to the foot, right? Yeah. yeah. I was like, do you want that for me to Because it's nice to give you one thing with that dress, but let's see if we can push for any more. Oh, this green one goes with this so well. <laughs> so <laughs> Just thinking, put those two together. It's quite preppy. Pre preppy, fancy. Yeah, it is quite preppy. Can I see you here? I'm just like buying me like hmm, what other jumpers could go on top. Hmm. You know what's actually really good is that it is one of the dresses without that bow. Yeah. yeah it does have a bow. A tiny but, one somewhere, yeah. Which means really a lot of jumpers could go over the top. So this one is a little bit long on the bottom. It's not as perfect as this combo is, hmm. but we can still make it work. got no bow on the front, so I Ooh. think it's time to have a bow on the front. You could take a really big bit here, put this on the front, show it off. Tuck that in if you want. It's a little bit thick where we've yeah. put that in, I guess because it's such a thick knit. Maybe it just kind of goes down the side. I love the little bow, but it's cute. It goes so well. <laughs> yeah, I like the yellow on yellow, it's very nice. Yeah, I think that helps. I mean, nothing is as good as these two were together. That one's great, yeah. And this is still nice. Yeah. I actually don't mind it long as well. Hmm. Could tie it at the back again. Could just keep it long. Yeah. And I don't have to worry about the see through part anymore at all. Yeah. So it's all covered up. And you could, if we get the brown waist belt that works, just belt it in the middle. Yeah. Breaking my own colour rules here. <laughs> so you've got a black tie and then you have a black hair but I'm just bringing black into the look so it's looking like more planned and less random. 
and then you've got that here. as well. Yeah, like, because I'm always a little bit like, oh, if there's a black tight with your all coloured look, it looks a bit kind of like random. Right. But then now you've got another black piece and another black piece and it's all seemed like really intentional, like, oh, okay. Hello. Mm -hmm. Do you look Those are the main combos of that yellow. Just seeing if there are any more jumpers that could go over the top. This could go over the top? Oh, yeah. Um, we did on the last dress, not on this one. I'm going to give you as many options as possible. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this one could go over the top. Oh, I like this one. They're actually quite similar in colour as well. Like, this is quite like a bright mustard and that's more, well, that's a beige. So it brings out like the beige notes in the skirt. really well. I guess because it's cropped as well. Yeah. Don't really have to put helps. anything. It is a little thinner though so we can kind of see where some of the frills oh. are, which is a shame. Oh. But like it does work. It's, it's very comfy. Because it's quite thin you can kind of mm. see that it's been put on over something. So yeah. But it does kind of work. So. Mm. <laughs> So I think if the jumper's like thick enough, it will work. But colour-wise, it's what really works, and yeah, this leather is really good for you. You can try the blue as well. And like when you do these wardrobe edits once, it kind of helps like mentally like going forward, and then you're like, oh, okay. yeah. it's too tiring to do it again. But now <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, to kind of stand and try everything on is quite tiring. But once you know, yeah, like this still feels a bit like dress up, so it is fun. <laughs> Like sometimes on your own it's nice to just like put on some like music and have a nice drink going and just like make it really like enjoyable self-care like experience. Mm -hmm. This was one that took a bit of work. Yeah, the tucking one. Yeah. This is one where you need something. <laughs> yeah, I could do a headband again. It works on this dress as well. Definitely. You've got some really lovely like knits that are in your colours, which is really good because it's like right underneath your face. So just have this out. Mm -hmm. There's no harm in showing that you've knit your jumper. You've not in it. This is really cute. <laughs> and the blue and the yellow make a really lovely contrast as well. Yeah, it looks quite Disney princessy, like the contrast for some reason. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so sweet. The bows are really cute. It's so cute. And it goes like so perfectly. 
hopefully that's giving you some more yeah so many good ideas I really like things together that's so pretty <laughs> like saw it and I was like oh strappy dress they are so versatile like very cute I've got some red in this one oh, right yeah. Look at the red one. Oh, the red is gorgeous as well yeah oh. and I have to try this one and make it the last one <laughs> <laughs> I did say I'm gonna finish on the jump the yellow one but I, this one's too cute to not track on <laughs> <laughs> the idea was to put the yellow over the top of it, mm. so all this, and I was like, that would go so good on Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to try it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't not try it. <laughs> Keep seeing like more things that would go with it. Oh this one? With this one. Oh. That would go with that one too, maybe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like nice and cropped. Yeah. The red and the yellow is quite fun together. I never would have thought of that. Yeah. I think about that. <laughs> <laughs> when you're like, I never would have thought, I'm like, oh, she needs to remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to realise that it's quite cropped as well, it really helps. Yeah, I think the cropped ones are really good for your shape. Just to like show where your waist is and you don't get too lost in fabric. <laughs> oh, that's really nice. <laughs> I'll go try the last one on. <laughs> Have you worn this one in the winter before? Never. Nope. <laughs> I always wear it without anything. So I've never tried to layer it and it looks perfect layered. So. Oh, it's such a layering piece. Yeah. These spaghetti strap dresses, they are so versatile. They are like gold dust. But it's ironic because they're both from the same brand in Japan. So I bought them at the same time and I've never put them together. They were like meant to yeah. be with each other, but <laughs> rock is. Yeah, when I was trying it on just now, I was like, oh yeah, these are the same band. <laughs> yeah, bye. <laughs> oh yeah, no, this dress, you need to be doing all the combos with it. You could be having things under it, over it. Yeah. In the summer too, or the spring, you mm. could have a t-shirt yeah. underneath it. I can't see your t-shirts today. But yeah, a lot of my t-shirts are all in my like um, summer wardrobe. Mm -hmm. Just as I get cold to see. This will give you like just the idea even to be like, oh, I can do yeah. some things with it. Just, ah, oh, here it is, here it is. The blue underneath it. Yeah. Like, just like how that spaghetti strap goes. Like this one would too. This and then if you're a little bit cold you could have the beige cardigan over the top. Yeah, definitely. Just sort of keep it in the blue creamy fount. This is so cute. I love this one. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'd probably wear it with a jacket because this one's quite thin. Yeah. And I think maybe the beige one's best, do you think? Yeah, I think so. This one, yeah. There are there are two that are very similar. <laughs> I mean neither. It's quite handy to have both options. I think your more pastely stuff isn't quite in the colour family of this one. Right. Yeah, it's quite dark, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. This is quite smart. Thing. I like it. But very it's smart. Preppy, but also still that kind of like long dress. Yeah. I love this head back with that. It's perfect. It's like they're meant to be together. Ooh. Yeah, this is perfect. I really like it. <laughs> Um, you can try more things under it or over it. This could go underneath, it's really similar to the cream, so you've got that other option. You've got the blue option, you have the white underneath. Yeah. Um, so you've got loads of options. We can try some things over the top of it as well. So 
the red cropped one would go perfectly over the top. Probably be a bit hot with that underneath. Yeah, definitely. But it's worth experimenting when I am, um, if it's a cold day out. So I'll be outside a lot or something. But, um, these yeah. ones could go over the top, or easily this cropped one could go over the top. Yeah, it's so versatile. So if you didn't want to try them on, you can you can just sort of photograph these. Yeah, I might hold them up next to these it. ones. Great. I'll just hold them up. Yeah. Maybe one at a time. Yeah. Well. yeah. <laughs> so it's mainly like for your reference. Like some people make Pinterest boards of like their outfits. I did a little collage, lo collage, collage last time to yeah. help me remember because then I can just see in one image. It's really helpful in the morning. What? <laughs> <laughs> Perfect with the red headband as well. Oh yeah, the two reds together. Perfect. Was it this one as well? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think it was. And you can remember all of your options. Thank you. And we know now with this one that it's maybe one that you tie something. Yeah. Or belt it however you can. It could be the belt and roll thing mm. where you put your belt and you just hide it underneath. Yeah. The belt doesn't go. Um, this one would be perfect. If that's a little thin, that could pop over the top of this. Definitely. The red with this as well. Yeah. Really nice. And then you've got this little like cream poking out and it's all in the same family. Yeah. Yeah, it goes with the red one here. Depending how you're feeling, you could pop this over that or over one of these under tops, and then we can finally see what they look like. Yeah, let's do that then. Okay. <laughs> I keep feeling like I'm like, oh, I'll do this one last, and <laughs> I get distracted. Okay. We'll end on this other okay. strappy one so you can see. That over this. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that can be great. I don't know if it's better for this one. Hmm. We've got blue, we've got white, we've got yellow, and this one. Do you ever wear this as a hairband? No. Don't see why not. <laughs> you can just like tie it, so you can just like thread it under. Under. Or the other way. I shake. So, like being really small and like being able to sew. I'll take like dresses that are too long and then I'll cut the hem off and then I'll use it as a hairband. So you take this and then you just put it up. Oh, okay. And then like tie it like that. Mm -hmm. This is giving very cute Alice in Wonderland vibes. It is, isn't it? <laughs> Help you look. <laughs> Thank you. I had no idea you could do this. Everyone's going to be like, wow, she's so small. I was a quite small as well. I'm always surprised. Like the camera does make things seem a bit more exaggerated. I think. I think because they can only see like our top parts as well. Yeah. They can't see us in context. I think someone commented on the first one saying like I was like really tall like a model, mm -hmm. and I was like no no I'm one sixty. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was the perspective of like us in front of the wardrobe maybe look really tall for some reason. I make people look tall. <laughs> I make my. I'm not sure how tall he is, but quite small boyfriend. Look <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is cute. Thank you. <laughs> oh, who was that person in that anime that always had that side bow? Is it Haruki Suzumiya? Yeah. <laughs> it's depressing how good my knowledge is in anime. <laughs> I like, loved that one growing up and for ages I was doing the same. Had the face too. Yeah, I loved her both. Yeah, it was really cute. This is what is happening. <laughs> really in my weave days. Yes. As if they ever ended. Yeah, this is really cute though. I love this dress on you. How many do you have like this? I think it is just this one and the one I just wore. Oh my god. Is that another for the list? I guess the strap dress. They are so versatile, and this, like, your legs look really long in the short one as well. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I still need to buy on the mood board, you know, mm. for me that gorgeous blue one. Mine's 
still be there. It might. So what I might do is because I love this one mm -hmm. so much. I'll mm -hmm. buy another one of this because I know it's going to get worn and torn because yeah. I wear a ridiculous amount. And then I might buy that with the blue dress. And then I might be here <laughs> when you come next. <laughs> also check out Uniqlo because they're doing a sale right now on Edex. Oh, okay. And the green one might be. Yeah, because it wasn't there last time, was it? Yeah, they yeah. keep like updating what they've got and what they don't. Cause this one I wanted for ages and then it went out of stock and then it came back in stock and I was like, oh, oh how <laughs> exciting. Yeah, I have to go on another little shopping spree before your next come. <laughs> <laughs> Just like send you a few more things. Gosh, I've spent so much money on clothes this year, but like it's good. It's, it's given me so much more life to my wardrobe. It, hopefully it starts your year off like knowing what it is you're going to wear. So, yeah, I've definitely been getting a lot more compliments at work and stuff because oh, there's this one guy that every day he's like, which pastel is it today, Mel? <laughs> <laughs> but in like a good way, because he's just like, oh, there's pastels on you, like, how, why, tell me, tell me what's going on. I was like, oh, I had a colour consultation. <laughs> he's like, tell me more. <laughs> yeah, so it's been fun, like, bonding with people at, about it over work and them really seeing the difference as well, so... Some yeah. nice things like when you're feeling happy in your colours and you're like radiating that like positive energy, other people feel it. Yeah. And what's so great is I think even without makeup on, mm -hmm. I just do look a bit better in the right colour not the like there's wrong colours, but like the, the ones that suit me better. Yes. I do somehow like just look healthier. It's just so cool, like the size behind it all. It's like powerful yeah. stuff, it's yeah. crazy. I love it. This is adorable. Yeah, this is so cute. <laughs> and is it warm enough? It is. Yeah, that's good. I think. I mean, especially this room's got quite hot. Yeah, so it's harder to tell. But yeah, if it wasn't, I think I would just add one of the the blue blue. Yeah, this blue would go again. Yeah, and it's just it's one of those versatile dresses, just like the one we just did. But it's a little bit brighter in colour, so it gives you more room to play. So it goes with all your brighter knits. Mm. It would easily go with the purple knit, yeah. it would go with the yellow, because there's yellow. Yeah, and the definitely. So you could have that. Right one with it. And like, say you had the blue underneath it as well, so you could have that. Yeah, that contrast. The blue and yellow, or the blue and purple underneath yeah. it. And you can try some more things over the top of it as well. This one would go, so the red wouldn't go because it's not really in the print. The yellow, the troublesome one could go, it's oh quite yeah, long like though. So the colours are perfect, it's just it would need to either be belted with a belt that would match, okay. which would maybe be the belt that's in your hair right now, <laughs> <laughs> or a, like sort of hair tied or something like that, or secret belted. Secret belt, love it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but that would work really well. So all these kind of neutral ones over the top. This one would be really good over the top, mm -hmm. and it would sit perfectly. I bet, yeah. We could have the. Mm -hmm. Not sure about that one. Not sure if that's too fibre. Um, you could have this one and that as well. If you did want to just hide a little bit more skin, because mm -hmm. um, you'd still have that just here right if you had it underneath this one yeah but then you wouldn't be so hot that's true because yeah. you would just have the strap yeah so I think as well like with this one you could have the longer ones underneath it but if you get too hot you could just have the strappy dresses on their own okay yeah and you could have it with a short sleeve oh that's how much to do with it I yeah. love it so you could have they're kind of similar but different colours, so you but they both have the yellow in them. Mm. So there's a yellow here, and there's a yellow here, and they all go with the beiges, and they all go with the blue. Because yeah. they both have blue in them. So blue in this one, blue in this one. So we could take more pictures with this one, mm -hmm. or if you remember goes whatever you prefer. I'll take a picture of this outfit. Yeah. Later. Yeah, let's look at the bow as well. They're so really cute. <laughs> I 
And if you're feeling a bit too animated up, you can just hide the <laughs> <laughs> hide the bow like oh. the bow the back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just like oh, move that around. <laughs> and yeah. did you want to take a picture with any of the jumpers next? Thank you so much for showing me all the different combinations. It's been yeah. really fun trying it all on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I love how I got to just explore all the different dresses as well and everything. So, I've learned a lot. Thank you. Happy to help.